Hi, I'm James Gullenville. I'm the president and CEO of Viking. And they've asked me to sit down today and talk to you about the sprinkler selector. And those of us who have been around in the industry for a number of years, and I'm just coming past 38 years in this industry, coming in in the early 1980s, there wasn't the proliferation of sprinklers that uh, we have today um, early on in the industry. We had uprights, we had pendants, we had sidewalls, and you know, which, which color did you want of each? Um, and now, now we have uh, many different styles and many different configurations of sprinklers, so it's difficult to get it right. Uh, you know what you want, you want a, you know, a concealed pendant, um, but which, which temperature, finish, approvals, uh, uh, configurations that you're looking for um, make it difficult today to find all the different options. So uh, manufacturers in the past had created these poster boards and you put them on your wall and you use those poster boards to select uh, sprinklers and try to get down to a part number. And unfortunately, the poster boards are outdated by the time they get printed. And uh, most of us know this and the online tools that Viking is providing is a way that we can give you current information and keep it updated to the minute uh, as approvals change and as uh, models change and are either uh, modified or um, you know move forward in time. So the online is a way that we can keep it current and, and keep you current on our information relative to our sprinklers as compared to printing a poster board and putting it on a wall that, again, is outdated before it ever gets posted on the wall. So I'm gonna walk through an example of sprinkler selector and show you some of the cool, the cool features of it. And I hope you find this interesting and uh, use this resource of Viking. So in our, in our website, just our general website, you can scroll down under Quick Links and you can see the sprinkler selector. So you, you click, the, or click the sprinkler selector. And on the left-hand side, you're gonna see about everything you need to dial down what sprinkler you're looking for. You know, what kind of occupancy type and so on and so on. And as I do this, it's going to limit the number of sprinklers that are available to me for that application. So down here you can see that I have um, 476 pages of information that can make up all the different configurations of these, of these uh, sprinklers. And there's 4,757 options here. <laughs> so yes, there's a lot of sprinklers. There's more than the three styles and there's more than the three temperatures and two finishes. So that uh, uh, makes this type of tool very useful, not only for the design selection, but also for specification. If you're looking for a particular occupancy sprinkler that you're designing or developing the specifications for, this is a great way to narrow it down to see if it's available. And I'll go through a couple of examples. So let's start with a simple one of residential. So we talk about residential and we say search. Now what it's gonna do down here is it's gonna limit me now to 258 entries, which are Viking's complete residential line, both in temperature, finish, style, orientation. Uh, so now I've narrowed that down to 258 selections. The application again it's just residential so that's just a one option the orientation am i looking for an upright and viking does have a residential upright um, pendant or horizontal sidewall i'll stick with pendant and then as as i hit search what you do is scroll down and you can see that i've limited now the 200 and something that i had down to 142 entries so those are the pendant applications Response type obviously is gonna be quick, so there should only be one response type. We call it residential, um, because the residential technically doesn't have a category of response type, uh, although it does use a fast response element. Um, K factor, now I'm probably getting a little bit too much detail here before I have selection, so there's multiple K factors that are available. Um, I may not know that right now, so I may not want to narrow that down. But the approvals. Um, do I want an FM approval on a residential sprinkler? 
So if I click FM just as an example for a pendant, you'll be able to see that I've limited it now to three entries, the VK420. That's an FM approved residential pendant sprinkler. So I'll go back and I'll say, you know, I'm, the FM was interesting, but I want to go with all approvals. And I revise my search and again, it will send it back to the 142 entries. Um, but the approvals is a very important category, especially if you're a engineer of record and you're trying to comply with an FM approval for a dormitory or something on a campus and you need FM or if UL and FM are required or LPC or different uh, labs around the world, this will um, allow you to narrow that down, make sure you're getting the right one. Let's talk about temperature. Um, I'm gonna use this opportunity in the platform to tell you, please use intermediate temperature. Um, I know we have the 155, it's required in a lot of places and it's a good sprinkler but I've seen a lot of applications where people leave homes unconditioned for time or their residential application unconditioned for certain times. And we've seen some activations of some sprinklers due to temperature. So the 175 can be used if you expect your ambient temperature to go above 100 degrees. And if you're not going to condition the property all the time, there's a good chance you may see above 100 degrees. So 175 is the same. We have many applications of the 175. Uh, we pride ourselves in that. So if I pick 175 and hit search on the pendant, you can see that I went to 53 entries and we have most of the applications that you will ever need um, with the 175. The finish, um, I can go with black polyester, chrome, nickel, uh, standard brass, white polyester. So let's just say we want white. Now, the white's going to be for the pendant exposed. It will eliminate the concealed. Uh, most of these will just be the, the pendant sprinkler. If, if you want concealed, we can narrow that down as to the type. We can go back up here under the pendant application, and you can see that under orientation now, I can go pendant and get all of the different applications. So the, you see the white polyester that I selected and I can change that to all. And each time I click one of these, all of the uh, orientation and everything else will change because of the uh, coding. So you gotta be careful when you're using a program like this that uh, you know what you've clicked because it will limit other applications. So what I've done now is I've just kind of narrowed it down to you know, the sprinklers that I want to look at within the 175 degree category. Uh, the th you can see the thread sizes over here, uh, the different K factors that are available. But let's just say this was the sprinkler that I was looking for, it was the VK430. Uh, this one's chrome, residential, three millimeter glass pendant, K factor of 4.3, half inch thread, 175 degree. That's the one that I was looking for, so I get the, um, I get the part number as well. So this will give me the information that I'm looking for. Once I click that, if I come back up here, this is the VK430 Pendant Residential Sprinkler 4.3. I can click on the data sheet or the product website to get um, more technical information that I need for it, submittals. But I, I've narrowed it down by my criteria of laboratory. I've narrowed it down by criteria of orientation, temperature, so that I'm making sure that when I do place this order that I get the right part number. Um, now the data sheet will give you multiple part numbers because it's general to all the temperatures, but you can see from your information that you've, that you've put in that you get the part number for the 175 degree um, product. Now, of course, it's available in 155, and some are available in the 200s as well. But um, I'm just saying pay attention to temperature when it comes to the selection of residential sprinklers. So if you are looking for a particular style of sprinkler, like concealed in any category, uh, 
a way to do this is occupancy type residential as we were before. And this will narrow it down to all the residential sprinklers. But if you go to the advanced search tab, you can just filter on concealed only. So now I've limited the search to just concealed sprinkler in the residential category, and I'd go through all the same configurations of approvals and temperature and everything that I'm looking for, again, for the same application. If I wanted flush only, uh, I would have to turn concealed off and just go with flush style. And again, everything will be in the flush style. So it's a, it's a nice way of narrowing it down that you know you're looking for a concealed sprinkler. I don't want to go through 400 different options of pendant sprinklers um, as an example. You also see over here that wet and dry for the system configurations and then um, no dry filter if, 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 if that's what you're looking for. So um, it's an it's a easy way to kind of narrow down your search based on your system application, um, especially if you're in the concealed category because you don't want to spend the time to go through all the different um, configurations. I can go through another example. One of my favorites is storage. So I go into storage configuration, and now I've limited all my sprinklers to storage. There's 369 entries that comply with the uh, storage classification. Um, I can go CMSA, control mode specific application, early suppression, fast response, extended coverage, or standard spray. So I can pick uh, ESFR. I can search orientation. I can go upright or pendant. The uprights will limit me to the, um, the height limitation to ESFR. I believe it's 35 feet. And the pendants will go all the way up to 55 feet. So I'm going to go pendant. The response type is going to be ESFR. So it's going to be a fast response. That's a category like residential. Um, that is an ESFR category for response. K-factor, um, maybe I don't want to select the K-factor yet. I want to look at uh, approvals. So I want to say, you know what, I really need FM on this one, and uh, I really need UL. Those are my two labs that I need, but it has to be FM compliant. So I'm going to pick that, and you can see that I'm limiting my entries now down to 80 and the ESFR application that I've selected so far. Again, on temperature, uh, the ESFRs are either ordinary or intermediate. And again, at the top of the warehouse, if you believe that that sprinkler is going to get above 100 degrees, we, we, not only we, but the NFPA 13 requires you to use intermediate temperature. So if you use intermediate temperature, again, we're down to 28 entries because that's the 200, 200 degree um, operating elements. Um, finish really doesn't matter. Standard brass on an ESFR, that won't change anything. And then I'm going to get down to the point where I got to pick a K factor. And that's going to be your design application based on how high your ceiling is. If I had a 50 foot ceiling right now uh, that I was looking at, I would definitely pick the K28. And it's just got some new applications with uh, Factory Mutual on the uh, 50 foot application with a uh, nine sprinkler design that's really, really. Um, Great on hydraulics with a three by three by three on the calculation area, so that's that's a nice application. But again, I've narrowed it down. I've got my data sheet. I've got a couple of options based on thread type. I've got uh, British British uh, thread types. I've got um, uh, NPT, all in the two hundred and five degree. Uh, so a couple of different options that you have of the K28 based on where you are in the world. I can pull up the data sheet again uh, for submittals and all the required information is on the data sheet. So this is a, a tool to make it easy to go through very complicated 4,700 different parts of sprinklers so you can narrow it down to the one that you need. And instead of putting it on a poster board with 4,700 different SKUs or part numbers, um, it's easier to go through. The caution that I give you is be careful of what you select because you can limit your selection just by a finish or a coating or a temperature. Um, 
make sure that you get the sprinkler that you're looking for in the general category and then start narrowing it down as you go through the selection. But um, this is another good example of Viking making it, making it simple um, to get our customers the right part at the right time in the right place um, so that there's no errors in the ordering process that you can narrow down to a part number that you can give to our customer service. So I hope you uh, enjoyed just that small tutorial on um, the uh, sprinkler selector. Uh, we try to keep it simple so you can get the right information. And again, thank you for your time today. I appreciate it. <music>